Here's a quick tip to make sure that you're staying logged in to Smoothwall and also just making sure that you're logging in correctly. On your EASD issued laptop, what you want to do is double click your Smoothwall icon that's found on your desktop. That'll take you to the Smoothwall login screen. Sometimes you might see this screen just in normal browsing or you might log in automatically. You might have your password saved like I have here, but that is how you manually log in. So if you're having any kinds of issues getting access to certain websites, you're going to want to check to make sure that you're logged into Smoothwall. But there are a couple quirks to this. One, for example, here is notice that it says log out. It gives me the impression that I am logged in. However, I've noticed that when you see the username and password box with fields that you can type in, you might not actually be logged in. So what I would recommend doing is actually log yourself out, or just click the log out button, and then log in here. Now, one thing I would recommend, the thing that I've found that works best for students, is to go ahead and type your stu type students, S-T-U-D-E-N-T-S, and then a slash above the enter key on your keyboard. Be sure you're using the right slash. So that's students with an S after that, and then the slash above the enter key on your keyboard, and then your 800 number. It's just a random one. And then go ahead and type in your password, and then click log in. Now, after you do that, it should tell you that it logged in, and there should be a logout button, but it should not be asking you for a username and password anymore. If it is asking you for a username and password again, try again. And if you have any issues getting logged in, please bring your device to MTS and we can help you out. So just to recap here, be sure that you are clicking on the smooth wall login icon that's found on your desktop. Type students slash above the enter, then your 800 number, along with your student password is your password, and then log in. And be sure that you don't see the username and password box appearing after you've logged in. Otherwise, that could mean that you're not actually logged in. If you have any issues, just bring your computer on by MTS. Thank you.